Standing in the cold, cold rain. I don't even feel the pain. Anything to step away. I know we could both do better. Hi besties, my name is Senti and I'm a YouTuber based in Birmingham. If this is your first time seeing this beautiful face, thank you very much. Please do consider subscribing and joining the family. So just like the title says, I'm going to be doing a DIY project. Yes, a DIY project. Anyway, so I moved into this place. I felt that there were a couple of things I wanted to change. And one of those things was the kitchen. The kitchen backdrop, I didn't really like what it looked like. It looked very bare, just like a bare wall and it was not really wasn't really my vibe do you understand so i decided to go on amazon and look for kitchen backdrops and i found an amazing one like this one is very amazing so i'm going to walk you through the steps in which i use to actually do the project in the uk when you want to make changes to the house you have to take permissions from the landlord so before i started this project i took permission from that from my landlord and i told him what i wanted to do and he gave me the go ahead now um one my ask is this rental friendly i'm not 100 percent sure if it is rental friendly though when i was reading the reviews i got i saw um, some reviews that said they were rental friendly but i cannot really say that it's rental friendly because i have not tried removing the stick ons from the wall so i just wanted to put that out there so the first thing i did when i found the exact one i wanted to do was buy it duh why won't i buy it if i don't buy it how am i going to use it anyways i was just i was just whining you guys i was just checking anyway so when i got it um i read the instructions and the instructions said that you should use the stick on on the wall and leave it for 24 hours and see if it sticks to the wall or if it is coming off before you continue the project and that was what i did i did the whole measurements then yes so after that um, i waited for 24 hours and when i realized that okay I can actually use this it's very good for the wall then i decided to continue the project so one thing you should know that you're going to need is like a ruler i didn't have a ruler so um some of my um lines and some of the things i was drawing they were not really straight so if you're going to go on this project or if you're going to carry out this project i suggest that you get a ruler if possible also get an exacto knife an exacto knife is going to help you cut better than a scissors because one well, exacto knife is sharper and you know you have more control over what you're doing basically that's the second thing so I think those are the two tips i'm going to give and you have to be very careful and you have to be very patient because if you're not careful if you're not patient you're just going to you're going to take a project a simple project and make it look shabby rather than you know make it look really nice
really that's it all you have to do is just be careful be very patient because if you're not patient you're going to make mistakes and you know everything is just going to really it's going to be very obvious another thing i added to the kitchen was um lights i added some sensor lights so i needed those lights because it just gave the kitchen more lights it gave just that area more light and that's the reason why i added it i'm going to drop links to the um backdrop and the sensor lights that i got the sensor lights can also be used in cupboards so if that's something you're into you can get those lights as well and they're very nice they are long lasting they are very very long lasting Let me know what you think about the end product. Do you guys like it? Do you think um do you think when the wall was bare, do you think it was better? You know, just let me let me know in the comment section. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.